Okay. Now, here's another training-related question. Once you've reached, this is Commodore Matt Decker. You'll recognize that name. Commodore Decker says, once you've reached certain strength thresholds that put you in the top 1% of the population, for example, one and a half times body weight bench, two times body weight squat, two and a half times deadlift. Strength is no longer the most important physical attribute, according to Commodore Matt Decker. Commodore Matt Decker says that speed, endurance, flexibility, and balance are then more important. Tell me why I'm wrong. Well, you're not wrong because you're Commodore Matt Decker. Now, you might be wrong because not everybody sees it that way, Commodore. Some people think that strength is more important than speed, endurance, flexibility, and balance. Now, let me point something out. At any given standing vertical jump, Say you got a 24-inch standing vertical jump, very average standing vertical jump. And you take this kid with a 24-inch standing vertical jump from a 135-pound squat to a 315 squat. He's going to get faster. Especially if you get his deadlift up to 365. He's going to get faster. He is. I know this. I've watched it happen. Lots of times. He gets faster when he gets stronger. All right? His endurance goes up. Same kid's endurance goes up. This is taking his squat from 135 to 315, and his his deadlift from 185 to 365. His endurance goes up because each sub-maximal rep becomes less hard Becomes because it's more sub maximal, right? His flexibility is not a factor in any of this, because he's flexible enough to do all of his all of his sports performance uh, range of motions and all of the range of motion he uses in his strength training. So flexibility is uh, a red herring, as it's called, and balance uh, is well. Did he fall down when he squatted the three fifteen? Did he fall down when he deadlifted 365? His balance is good if he didn't do that because you can fall down when you squat and you can fall down when you deadlift. But he didn't do that, so his balance is just fine too. All right, your numbers, your ratios here, one and a half times body weight on the bench, twice body weight squat. For a 150-pound kid, 155-pound kid, a twice body weight squat is 315. That's not particularly strong. Two and a half times body weight deadlift is not particularly strong. Uh, For a heavier guy, those numbers are headed up in the direction of stronger, but these are not astonishing strength numbers, especially not for somebody who is a gifted athlete, someone that is explosive, someone with a big standing vertical jump. And they may decide that they want to get stronger. And if that's okay with you, Commodore, I think I'll go ahead and let them. Uh, why you're wrong is because you don't, you're wrong because you don't understand the relationship between speed, endurance, flexibility, balance, and strength. That's why you're wrong. 